Welcome to my unique lip stain video. I'm so excited today to show you all of the colors so you can see what they actually look like on. Plus, I'm gonna show you some cool combinations of colors so you can create a custom color just right for you. And don't forget, on our website, under sets, we have a set of three lip stains. So it's a good idea to get a few different colors so you can mix and match and create the combination that you would like. So let's start with what is a lip stain? How is it different from lipstick, from lip gloss? Well, the consistency is like water. It's, so you don't wanna pour it out, because it will pour out. But what it does is it goes on your lips and it actually stains them, just like a popsicle would. And the color lasts for hours and hours through eating, drinking, kissing, whatever. You don't even feel it on your lips like you do with a lipstick or a lip gloss. It feels totally natural. It does not dry your lips out. And you can layer it. So if you have a favorite lipstick or lip gloss or lip liner, you're welcome to put that on top as well. But you don't have to. You're not gonna even feel it. You're gonna forget it's there. You're gonna go to the bathroom and be surprised by how gorgeous your lips still look. So let's start going over all of the colors. I'm going to start with the lightest color, and that is called Shy. It's appropriate because it is the lightest color. And the key is, if you want it light and natural, just put a little color on, and you can smooth it out with your finger, with a Q-tip, or just rub your lips together. So you don't need to slather it on like a lip gloss unless that's the look you want. If you want a dark matte color, go ahead. It looks really natural right now. It looks like I just have a nice pink glow. But if I wanted to keep adding and make that color more intense, I certainly could. The next color I'm going to show you is called Sappy. It's very similar to Shy, but it's a little more coral, a little deeper in color. A light, a light coral pink, but a little deeper. And again, add another layer for more intensity. And if you do wanna spread it, spread it quickly because it dries within 20 seconds or so. So you wanna really if you want to lighten it up, get those fingers around or press your lips together pretty quickly. But I mean, isn't it so pretty? It doesn't look fake like lipstick. I'm just, I love all of these colors because they're translucent. So your natural skin tone is coming in through the lip stain. So these colors blend with your skin no matter what shade they are because it's always incorporating your own natural skin tone. So they always look so flattering. Now if you're wearing an outfit that has a little more purple in it or more blues, it is fun to add this color which is called Savvy and it really, really is purple. But again, because these colors are translucent, you don't look like a purple clown, it just gives a purple hue to your natural skin tone. But I'm gonna put it on top of this other color to show you that you can turn this pink into a more purple shade without going completely purple. Okay, so let's say purple is your thing. You're up on this purple trend right now. You want purple lips. Let's do Savvy all on its own. Here it is again. So there it is, pretty sheer. It's pretty, isn't it? I mean, I didn't think purple lips would be pretty, but. Okay, our next color is called Skittish, and it's definitely not for the Skittish. It is hot Barbie pink. Is this color scary? So if this color is too intense, ooh, you could tone it down a little maybe with Savvy again, the purple color. So bring in more of a purple hue. Let's try that. So 
that's that's nice right it's kind of like an electric purple like a fuchsia and it just takes 20 seconds or so to dry okay next step is our brightest boldest red called saucy but again you can spread it out make it a little tamer that's what it looks like coming out of the bottle I'll go another layer to make it more matte and you can keep going until you have completely matte opaque lips if you'd like now my favorite red combination is saucy and sultry because sultry is a deeper blue red so it balances out the more bright orange red of saucy and I think together they're just the greatest red so here's sultry as you can see a little deeper this color reminds me of old Hollywood this is the deep velvety red Marilyn Monroe used to wear okay now here is sultry on its own sultry the deeper red color it's like a, a berry color isn't it or a wine color so with that extra layer it went from a berry to definitely a deeper red another gorgeous color is sleek it's a brown almost looks like a deep brick brown it's really rich and again if the translucence of your natural lips comes through it's so pretty so I'm gonna add this sleek to sultry just to make it a deeper richer color Okay, now for the grand finale, sleek all by itself. This is that deep brick red color. This is what it looks like with just a really sheer layer. There you go. It kind of reminds me of a, a Zinfandel wine or something like a, a raisiny color. That's all for our lip stain colors. Please let me know in the comments which one you like the most and which one you think would look the most beautiful on you. Thank you for joining us. Cheers.